this video, let's try out a new open source OCR. This is Dots OCR. This is from Red Note. Red Note is like the Instagram of China. So this particular OCR has multilingual support. It achieves SOTA performance for text tables and reading order on Talkbench. It has a compact 1.7 billion parameter LLM foundation. So this vision language model is close to 3.4 billion parameters. It has multilingual support. Uh, what they say is that it is efficient and it has fast performance because it is built on a compact 1.7 billion parameter LLM. Uh, it does all the tasks which you are expecting from an OCR. They have examples over here of various kinds of account tasks. Okay. Uh, it can work on tab tabular data. It can work on formula recognition, right? Uh, it can work on images, but it is multilingual. So let's try out this particular uh, you know, OCR in a collab notebook. So here they have some examples of table document and how table is extracted, right? So this is a powerful OCR. So to install this in collab, I couldn't run it on a T4 free instance, right? Um, so if you go over here, I couldn't run on a free T4 instance because flash attention was not supported on Ampere architecture. I'm running it on L4. L4 is a paid instance on Collab Node. Okay. So first we need to do is that we need to clone the repository, right? Once you clone the repository, uh, you go into the folder and you do the installation like this. So this is the install process. Now, once you install, you can download the weights of this particular model. Okay. So after the weights have been downloaded this is how you instantiate this particular model okay the so model path is dot weights dot ocr model is auto model for causal lm from pre-trained and uh, to specify the model path the processor is also the same for from the same model path in this way you have now instantiated the model so this model takes up to 6 gb of gpu ram that is what i have observed okay if you go to their hugging face page also Says 3.4 parameters uh, is the model size. So this model is available on Hugging Face, so you can freely download it. It has an MIT license, which means that you can for your commercial purposes. Okay. So once the model is downloaded, the first one I tried with their own demo image. Okay. So the demo image uh, looks like this. So it's a tabular image, right? Uh, so you have tables over here, and uh, you know it's like a publication paper you have tables a mix of tables and text over here so this is how you do it you specify the image path you specify this particular prompt okay please output the layered uh, information from the pdf image including each layout element box its category and the corresponding text okay and you specify the box format layout categories like text caption footnote formula list item page uh, page footer page header picture so these are the various categories for in the layout. Then you, this is the prompt for the text extraction. For the picture category, the text field should be omitted. Formula format it as latex. Table format it text as HTML. All others format their text as markdown. And some constraints over. Okay, final output should be in a single JSON object. Then you create your messages like this. You have the user where, uh, you know, the content you have the image, right? This is the system prompt basically. And uh, you know the text you have the prompt, right? And then uh, you can apply this chat template, and uh, you get the text for the image and video inputs. You get like this process. Oh, you create the inputs basically to the processor. You pass the text and the image over here. You push the inputs to the GPU, and this is how you generate the IDs. Okay, model dot generate. You pass the input, and then you decode it. And you get your output text. Now the output text is in a single JSON object. So this is how it is doing over here. So page header, kosher to meet and risk of lymphoma. So let's go to the uh, image over here, exposure to. Lymphoma. Okay, then you have this table. So then it says, then it, uh, it gives the bounding box of that. Then, uh, you know, page header text, it gives that. Um, then you have category table. Okay, so here you have the caption text 
odds ratio of Hodgkin lymphoma. So it has actually done this whole particular table OCR over here is the page OCR. Okay. So in this way, you can actually run OCR on your images. So the next image which I gave was this particular handwriting image. So I have uploaded the image over here, right? The prompt is the same and I'm doing the same process over here. So in this particular image, it says handwriting sample form here, right? Then it starts you know, giving boundary box, uh, bounding box for each of the things. So category, table, uh, this thing, table, text, okay? Then category, table, text, and where is the text? Here, okay. Box is this, so you have eight, where is eight? Here, in the last, you have this unit. Rekha, establish this constitution. Well, let's look at that part. Okay, here you have it. Do ordain and establish this constitution. States of America. That's a table basically. For here and so it's actually doing a good job of handwriting recognition. Well, okay. So I wanted to give some other things like, you know, I wanted to give this image, see what it does. Okay, so that is what I'm doing next. I'm giving that particular image. Okay, arrow, box support, optimize. I gave that. Here also it is doing a good job. Uh, it's picking up all the pictures and, uh, you know, alignment, text, performance. It's picking up the pictures and, uh, alignment performance basically and then it talks about this picture it's able to do an uh, OCR on this particular image as well quite well okay that is what I saw right then I gave a benchmarks image I gave this particular image if you see over here you have text like you know in a different orientation and stuff like that right so I gave this particular image as input over here and uh, here it has pulled out now, if you look at category text picture, uh, pulls out all the text properly. See if it is pulling up this uh, file. Um, somehow it's not pulled that text. I see it. Categorizing every picture over here. Yeah. It's not pulled no, this text. Okay. It is pulled this part. It's considering this whole as a picture. Pull this part. Considering this. Even pulled it here. Okay, it's actually pulling it. But it's considering the rest of this as images. Okay. Uh, the next example which I tried was this thing, but unfortunately I don't understand uh, how it worked. It took nearly 15 minutes. I thought it did because this is Kannada chart. Kannada is an Indian. And uh, wells and I wanted to give this as input. I tried it multiple times. It was running for six minutes. This time, after fifteen minutes, it's given an output. It's given a good uh, this thing. Oh, it's pulled out. Let's clean. Isn't it? Here. Ah uh, ah. Uh, some reason it's uh, okay, this is slash slash new ah uh, pulling out all the latest okay so why did I choose this particular language oh of their demo assets I saw this particular language I thought maybe they are doing can work for this multi language as well for that is why I tried it out some reason for this image has taken close to 15 minutes to generate an output or why this is happening. okay uh, this is an l4 instance l4 instance is a little bit low maybe on you have an a100 or something it might do it faster okay now if you want to fine tune this particular OCR, you can put this export from william uh, you know he's given a script over here on how you can actually fine tune this particular on your data set. Yes, it's a work in progress, uh, but it's a 
So you can also check out uh, how you fine tune this particular. So this is a good OCR. Okay, so you now have, have an another open source OCR to try out for your OCR related tasks. This is available on Hugging Face. It has a MIT license, which means that you can use it for your commercial purpose as well. Right, you can check out their GitHub repository uh, for further details. Right, uh, there are some limitations of this OCR which they have put over here. So it is not yet perfect for high complexity tables and formula. I think pictures in documents are currently not parsed. So these are some limitations of this particular OCR. There could be parsing failures. So when the character to pixel ratio is excessively high, uh, so this model has some issues. Continuous special characters such as ellipses and underscore may cause the prediction out repeat endlessly. There is performance bottleneck. It is not yet optimized for high throughput processing of large PDF volumes. So there are some limitations, but it is expected to improve. That's what they are claiming over here. But uh, for the moment, this is a good OCR model. They have a Gradio demo also. You can try it out. This can work on PDFs, images, right? So you can go and try out this particular model. So this is a short video on DOTS OCR. Hope the video is useful to you. I will share the Collab Notebook in the description of the video. Do check it out. See you in another video.